Hello. In this video, we're going to be covering, uh, hopefully briefly, uh, how to label the axes of your ggplot2 graph, and then also how to work with the legend a little bit. Uh, so the first thing is labels. How can we label the axes, the, you know, the x-axis title, the y-axis title, the title of the whole graph, all this sort of stuff. We can do this with the labs function. Uh, so the labs function, we can add on to our ggplot graph, and it's pretty easy to use. All we have to do is do our labs function and then say for each axis that we have, what do we want it to be labeled? So here's an example. So here's the labs function. I want my x axis to be labeled miles per gallon. I want the y to be horsepower. I want the color, I've got a, a color axis here where I'm kind of coloring separately by weight. I want that to be car weight. So notice that that titles the legend over here, right? So if you, if you have another axis besides x and y, commonly you'll get a legend uh, accompanying your graph. If you want to title that legend, you can use the labs function and just give it a title there. We can also, of course, have a title of the graph overall, title's title, uh, a subtitle, or a caption as well. And it's really as simple as that. If you want to label your axes, and you should, you always want to make sure that your, your graph is readable and not just in whatever weird name you gave the variable in R, use the labs function. It'll do it. So let's also talk about the legend. Uh, so the legend is kind of tricky with ggplot2. It's not the most intuitive to work with thing. Uh, so we can read we can read title legends uh, using labs. That's easy enough. But what if we want to let's say move the legend or get rid of it? Uh, so moving the legend can be done uh, with the theme function. And we'll talk more later about the theme function. But the first thing I just want to talk about it is how to work with the legend. So if we add a theme uh, part to our ggplot object, we can specify in there the legend position and just tell it the x and y coordinates where the the uh, the, the, the uh, one here would be all the way to the right, zero would be all the way to the left of the box that it's in. Uh, and so this would be 0.9 of the way along the x-axis and 0.3 up. And I can also change the legend background uh, by doing legend.box.background is a, a rectangle element, and I want that to be black. So if you can sort of see the black outline here for that element, uh, you probably might just have to memorize this if you want to use it, I guess, until you get to the point where you're more familiar with the element rec the element parts of ggplot2, which is really sort of low-level stuff. But legend position, not too bad. Uh, you rarely want the legend to be sort of floating around out here. You want it to be closer to your data. And also, why take up all that real estate uh, with a legend? Um, the other thing to do is uh, removing a legend, uh, which I have to, it is, is hard to remember, but you can do it with the guides function. I don't know why it's not just in the labels function, in the labs function, but it's not. You want to remove a legend, you use the guides function and you take the legend that you want to remove and you set it equal to false. So if I want to take out the color legend, I do guides color equals false. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can add la uh, labels to your le your axes on ggplot2 and also how you can move the legend around, retitle it, or get rid of it altogether. Thank you.